Forecast Center, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Today was the fourth straight day with below normal high temperatures. And tomorrow will be day number five. After that, we're going to have six straight days of above normal high temperatures. Take a look at your seven day temperature trend. And as you can see, some of those temperatures will be way, way, way above normal as we move into December. We're talking about highs up into the 50s. And speaking of warm temperatures, as of today, 2012, 2012, still can't decide which way to say it, <laughs> is the warmest year on record for the NBC 26 viewing area. And records go back to 1886. It didn't feel that way this morning, though, did it? Take a look at these low temperatures. The deep freeze was on. Parts of the NBC 26 viewing area seeing the first sub-zero temperatures of the season. Across northern Oconto County, temperatures dropped below zero. We had six in Kashina, 10 in New London, 11 in Green Bay, and the low in Appleton was 12. It was the coldest morning since March 5th. This evening, temperatures are much warmer than what we saw last night at this time. Right now, we are looking at mid-20s to lower 30s across northeast Wisconsin up into the UP. Lots of sunshine this morning and then partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies. As we moved into the afternoon, you can see the sun setting behind the latest batch of clouds, which has been covering northeast Wisconsin pretty much all night long. Those clouds are associated with a cold front, which is now moving into the area and ahead of that cold front this evening, we've had a band of light snow and flurries work its way across eastern and east central Wisconsin. It will continue to make its way out towards Lake Michigan during the next hour or so and then we'll clear out so that by tomorrow morning as high pressure builds in behind that cold front, we'll see mostly sunny skies and tomorrow will end up being a mostly sunny day across much of the state. Temperatures tomorrow pretty close to what we saw today. Maybe a degree or two cooler in spots. Look for a high of 28 in Pensaki, right around 30 in Embarrass, 31 in Kimberly, a little bit warmer across southern sections, 34 in Oakfield, and right around 33 degrees in Kohler. After that, we can expect warmer weather and quiet conditions. As the jet stream lifts to the north, we're going to see Pacific air stream across much of the country, and that means temperatures as we move into this weekend will be running 10 to 20 degrees above normal for this time of year. Even warmer weather for Monday and Tuesday. In fact, we could be looking at our warmest December temperatures in over a decade. So your forecast for tonight calls for any lingering flurries to come to an end with clearing skies. Overnight lows will be around 20. Tomorrow, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 20s to lower 30s for most. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 31 degrees. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to the new community shelter in Green Bay. And we did that today. I forecast a high of 31 and the actual high was 31 degrees. On Thursday, sunshine giving way to increasing clouds. Friday, cloudy skies, a chance for some light snow, light rain or drizzle, breezy conditions, warmer mid to upper 30s and then much warmer for the weekend. Showers on Saturday, upper 40s. Could see some fog at times for the weekend into early next week with temperatures running way above normal for this time of year. 25 degrees above normal, in fact, by Monday and Tuesday with highs in the 50s. Those 50s on Tuesday look to be early Tuesday morning. We should see 40s and then 30s as we move into the afternoon. It doesn't feel like the holidays when you look at temperatures like that. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be warm at Lambeau <laughs> mm -hmm. Field on Sunday. You don't typically see temperatures close to 50 for a home game in December. No, you don't. <laughs> so those fans are lucking out. Actually, you know what? Some holiday lights are shining.